even though there are three different government agencies, the USDA, FDA, and EPA overseeing the food system, we have no labeling requirements for these GMOs, genetically engineered foods, and uh, there's, there's no warning for, for the consumer, and there's no testing. And all of this is because the people at the top of these agencies have said, we don't have to have testing. That's right. Yeah. So what, the way it works now at the cor is the corporations do testing themselves. Mm -hmm. They summarize the results and hand them into the government. And what the government says to them, you know, the, it's very interesting when you actually look at the documents, what the government says. They don't mm -hmm. say, we say this is healthy. They say, we see you've done the testing. That's all they say. Mm -hmm. So nobody's really liable mm -hmm. because the corporations say, well, you know, the government said it's okay, then it's okay, we're not responsible. And the government says, well, you know, they've done some testing, so we're not responsible, so no one's really responsible. Mm -hmm. And this is a different story than in Europe, for example, where people demanded labeling, and so it's labeled. Mm -hmm. And because it's labeled, people don't buy it. And because people don't buy it, the stores don't stock it, the companies don't make it, the farmers don't grow it, all the way up the line. So it's very different. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.